What is going on guys, it's Modded Warfare here. Welcome back to another PS4 tutorial. So in this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you guys how to update a game with, or update a fake package version of the of a game with a fake package update that is not designed for that same title ID. So one that's for a different region and a different title ID. Now this will not work with every single game. Um, but for quite a few games it will work with and uh, so for example with Horizon Zero Dawn I downloaded this kind of obscure version uh, which was the only one I could find at the time and now there's you know up fake package updates for for Horizon Zero Dawn but they're for different a different version so for example here the reason I'm showing you in game just to show that this works this is the base version of the game and you can tell because the health bar um, that that uh, orange bar in the top left hand corner is orange and I think in the updated versions of the game it's it's meant to be blue so just to show that uh, it's definitely the base version of the game we're on right now and then if I minimize this we'll just close it for now and I go to information you can see we're on version 1.00 now if I go to my package installer the update that I want to apply to this game is version uh, 1.22 this version here but you can see it's for a different version of the game this is the original version of the game UP9000 and this is the version I want to update it with but because it's for a different title ID if I try and install it here uh, you'll see that it, it's not going to update the, the package file it's not going to update the game because it's designed for a different uh, title ID so I've installed it so if I go back to Horizon Zero Dawn and go to information you can see it's still on 1.00 so the patch didn't work because it's for a different region and a different title id now i'm going to show you how to rework that package file into an update package file that will work with your version of the game all right so for this example i've got the game which is the a us version up 9000 and then a different title id cusa 07326 that's the original game that i have and i was trying to patch it with uh, this version, which is the European version of the game, EP9000 CUSA 07319. So 1926 European version, US version, not compatible with each other. And we're basically going to uh, repackage this uh, update to make it work. Now, you can use the, the update repackager uh, tool, uh, which will basically do all of this for you. But that only works if the game has the same CUSA. So it only works if it's the same uh, game version. So the same title and the same uh, region. Uh, that repackager will work. But if they have different uh, title IDs like this, then the repackager tool won't work and you'll have to do it manually. So in this case, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and well, have to, I'm going to have to do it manually. So I'm going to open up the fake package tools, which will be linked in the description. We need Orbis Pub Check, Orbis Pub Gen, and uh, Gen GP4 for this. So what we're going to do is we're going to open up uh, Orbis Pub Check, first of all. And we're going to firstly drag our game package file in here. And you can uh, click Add Image File if you can't drag and drop and just browse for the file uh, manually. Then we're gonna extract files. We're gonna enter the passcode as all zeros, which is what it should be for a fake package file. And then we're gonna go ahead and scroll down until you find sc0 and then param.sfo. You wanna select that file and you're gonna to want to just go ahead and select the output directory as the desktop. And we're going to go ahead and just extract it to our desktop here. So then we're going to delete the image and we're going to add our patch file in here as well. And we're going to do the same thing with the patch file. So except this time we're going to extract the entire thing. So extract files, enter all zeros, click extract. This time select the box to select all uh, files and directories. And then I'm going to create a new folder in here uh, called patch. And we're going to go ahead and so we're going to go ahead and select this as our output directory and we're going to extract all of our files in there. 
So there we go, done. So at this stage, we can close this. We're going to grab SC0 and we're going to copy all the files in SC0 and we're going to put them in image0 SCE system. And we're going to go ahead and paste them in here, overwrite anything that requests you to overwrite. And then we can delete that SC0 folder. And from there, what we're going to do is we're going to go into SCE system and we're going to overwrite the param.sfo that's already in there with the one from the original game. So this param.sfo, you want to just copy this one in and replace the file in destination. And then at this point, we're going to go ahead and edit it in a hex editor. So we're going to open it up in hex editor and then we're going to go down here and we're going to change this um, down at 300. We're going to change uh, 01.00 to the version of the actual patch file. So, which is 22. So this is update version 22. So I'm going to change this to 22. Uh, you can tell just by the, you know, the actual patch here. It says A0122. So 122 is version 1.22. So I'm going to change the param.sfo to version 1.22, and then change G D to GP for game patch. So that's all we got to do there. And that's pretty much it. Um, 01.00. Um, so yeah, that's all we have to do. So we can go ahead and save it. Um, and then if you go into uh, SCE system, it will create a back backup file. So you can, uh, you know, move that or delete it. So one thing I notice is when I do a video on where that includes hex editing, I get a lot of people who end up corrupting their files and that's because they typically backspace if they make a mistake. Do not use backspace when you're using a hex editor because that will change, that will delete one of the bytes which essentially changes the whole structure of the file and where everything is located by one byte. Um, or if you backspace multiple times it changes it by multiple bytes which completely corrupts the file. Um, so do not backspace in hex editor. Just, you know, only overwrite data that's already there. Do not uh, add additional data or uh, backspaced or remove data by backspacing or deleting. Just overwrite. If you make a mistake, like if I did, you know, say 222 and like, oops, I've overwrote it, then just control Z um, to undo um, or just, you know, change it back to 00. So do something like that. Do not. Do not backspace because uh, that will corrupt the file. So anyway, now we've done that, we've got our param.sfo all ready to go. We can now create our update. Now also you want to change mp title as well. If you have this dat file, it will be set to um, the CUSA of the patch. We need to change that to the CUSA of the, the game that we're trying to patch, which in my case is uh, version 2.6. So 07326, not 07319. Save. And again, it'll create a backup, so I'm just going to delete it. So that should be good to go now. You can check any other DAT files you have, make sure they don't contain a CUSA uh, of the patch. If they do, change it to the CUSA of the game that we're trying to patch. So now we can basically build the pack, the update package file. So what we're going to do first of all is we're going to go ahead and copy this param.sfo out to a, another folder, keep a backup of it because when we build the project file, it actually in Gen GP4, Gen GP4 generates its own param.sfo and it overwrites the one that's already in here. So we, yeah, we want to keep a backup so it, so that if it when it overwrites, we can just copy this one back in. So. What we're going to do is we're going to open fake package, uh, open the fake package tools. We're going to open Gen GP4, which I don't think is actually part of the fake package tools. Um, so if it's not, then I'll include a separate link to this program anyway. So what we're going to do is we're going to click the folder icon, and then you want to browse for the patch, the extracted patch, and select image, select the image zero folder. Click OK, and then generate the GP4 file, and click the GP4 tab which will give you the XML data. And you want to change this package underscore PS4 underscore app to package underscore PS4 underscore patch. And then over here where it says storage type equals digital 50, you want to change that to digital 25. 
and that should be that and then save the gp4 file in the same folder as image zero and that should be that uh, the reason we change that to patch and digital 25 basically changes the project file to a patch package instead of an application package which is what we need uh, and it has overwrote the param.sfo you'll see it's it's now gone back to 01.00 gd so that is why we make a backup of this so we can just copy this one back in the one that we edited we're going to copy that one back in just to make sure we'll check it in hex editor and there we go 1.22 gp okay so now we can finally create our update package so we're going to open the orbis pub gen and go to file open open our gp4 file that we just created so if we double click image zero, we'll see all our files are added in there. If we go to command, project settings, package, should be digital 25, 25 gigs. This should all be added for us. So the only thing we should need to change is in the patch tab, we want to select our application package. And in here, we're going to select the original game package file that this update is designed to patch. So we're going to select that, we're going to click OK, and then we're going to build this new updated package file going to select an output directory and build and as you can see we're not going to get any errors we'll get plenty of warnings sure but we shouldn't get any errors normally you, you would you'd run into an error where if you select the original patch file it will say it's invalid it's not got the same title id um, or you know it will say the mp title file doesn't have the right title id or, or the param.sfo doesn't have the right title id pretty much messages like that uh, if you haven't done it correctly but if you've done everything correctly and you've got the param.sfo set up correctly the mptitle.dat set up correctly it should build the package file so now you can see we've got three package files in here now we've got the original game package file we've got the update that we wanted to patch this uh, version of the game with uh, which wouldn't work which is the because it's for a different title id and different region and then we've got our reworked update, which was taken from this pa package file and made into an update that should successfully patch our version of the game. It's because it's now changed to UP9000-7326 uh, and it's version 1.22. So we're good to go. So all we have to do is transfer this over to our console or transfer it to a USB and install it with the package installer or, or install it with the remote package installer. But for patches, for fake pa patches, I find they work better just in, well, I find the remote package installer doesn't work well with that. Uh, so I'm just gonna install it with a USB stick. So, so I'm gonna go on my USB stick here and I'm gonna just delete that update, update that wasn't working for us in the beginning. Take our reworked update and put that on. Okay, and then I'm gonna put that USB stick back into my PS4 down here. So on the PS4 now, as you can see, Horizon Zero Dawn still on version 1.00. We're gonna go over to settings. We're gonna go down to our debug settings, game package installer, and there's our update 07326 this time. We're gonna select it, it's gonna install. And this time it should actually patch the game successfully. You can see it's taking a bit longer, which is a good sign. There you go, update file installed. Now if I go back over to Horizon Zero Dawn, oh, would you look at that? The image has changed. It was just a blue background before. And then if I go to information, it's now on version 1.22. So let's run the game and see if it still runs. Because you got to bear in mind, this update was not designed for this version of the game specifically. Now. Sometimes that's just because it's a different region or a different title ID and there's not really anything that's changed specifically to prevent it from working with that version of the game. But in some games, like I said, this won't work for all games. In some games, uh, there will be an issue where they're not compatible. But uh, it's definitely worth a try if you, know, if you can't find an update for your specific version of the game. So there we go, it's loaded. You can see I've got continue. So it's working with my saves and stuff doesn't seem to be any issues so far so I'll just speed up the loading because this game can take quite a quite a while to load up here okay here we go guys we have loaded up and here we are we're in 
And as you can see, if you look at that same health bar that we looked at at the start of the game, in the top left hand corner, it's now blue, not orange, showing that uh, the update has been applied successfully. The game has been altered and does indeed work. So yeah, anyway guys, that's basically it. That is how you go ahead and update a game with an update that's not designed for that version of the game, or at least, you know, it's not uh, it's not for the same region or the same title ID version. And as I said before, please bear in mind this will not work with all games. So proceed with caution if you are going to do this. Make sure you, well obviously you still need the original package file anyway. It shouldn't delete your saves even if it does get corrupted. You know, if you try and patch it uh, with an update that uh, really wasn't meant for that version of the game and it completely screws up, then it could corrupt your game. But if it corrupts your game, you can just delete it, reinstall the game again, and you should be fine. It, you know, you shouldn't lose your saves or anything, as long as you don't, you know, delete the saves as well as the game. Um, but you know, something something that you wouldn't do, like a dumb thing to do, for example, would be so if you took an update for the complete edition of Horizon Zero Dawn and tried to, you know, rework that update to patch the the original version of Horizon Zero Dawn, that will probably screw it up or vice versa, you know, taking an update for the uh, complete edition or taking an update for the normal version of the game and trying to apply it to the complete edition of the game will probably screw it up as well. Uh, so those so situations like that you definitely don't want to do this on. Um, but for games that are, you know, basically same, they're the same language, as long as the language is the same, same language version of the game. Um, but they just have a different title ID for whatever reason, or they're just a, a, just a different region, but, you know, same game, same language. Go for it, you know. Worst that can happen is the game gets corrupted and you just have to reinstall it again. Um, you know, the best that can happen is the update works and you're good to go. So anyway, hope you guys enjoyed the video or found the information useful. If you did, please leave a like and subscribe and I will hopefully see you guys in the next one.